Saying, Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory Give unto the Lord the kindred, ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth and the world also shall be stable that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. We'll give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, save us, O God of our salvation. And gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy grace. Bisabay, blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all that people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Let's pray, Lord. Mga salamat sa mga salita. Lord, uh, thank you very much for your words again, for we have no other that uh, we should thank for, but you and your power, Lord, your kindness, Lord, we pray uh, this morning, you just again bless us and let us learn our lesson today and our later activities, Lord, and thank you for the safety, for the delegates, and we also, Lord, learn from your word, as always. Uh, thank you for the new year, we'll uh, take this opportunity to again serve you better and better each time. Uh, let us learn again. Let's thank for our uh, visitor also. And later, I pray that you will bless us with all blessings, especially in thy word and your truth. So let us uh, be blessed and learn from you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Hindi kang kalimutan, ha? Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Happy New Year. This will be our first Sunday. Amen. But we already have a first service last Thursday. But we'll try this is our English service, English sermon, because sometimes uh, we need to communicate better, especially actually if you know, on uh, our days today, times today, we have a global economy, global communication already. So that is both good and bad depending on us, what we do with our lives. Amen? Amen. Are you listening? Hirapan na nga mag-English eh. So please listen, lalo kayo. You will not uh, learn anything if you will not focus. Amen? Amen? New year na. So anyway, so again, this is part of the series that we started last week. Okay, so this is part 3 and last part. Our uh, series is called... Uh, Title of this is, remember, demand to be at our best. Demand to be at our best. We should be at our best. I understand that, uh, of course, we don't, we're not always at our best. That's why we need to develop. We need to uh, learn. We need to practice everything. Okay? If you're not at our best now, we need to do better. Amen? So we have three parts because the, the first part, introduction, we mentioned there, we studied the eminence. Okay? When, you, when you say eminence and soberness, eminence first. When you say eminent, it, is, uh, it will happen. It is urgent. Anytime. Okay? Because again, the three events that we're watching out for this, what? Your death, either your death or God's judgment upon other things, either 
sin or expectation from you. Okay? It will happen at a time that you don't expect. Okay? For example, the example last week is, for example, you need to be a leader already, but you supposedly have already learned what you should be learning. But you're not ready because you wasted the time that you should be learning and practicing the Word of God, should be doing what you've been doing, should uh, wake up early and serving and thinking about these things, but you have not. So the thing there is uh, you will not be able to do what is expected of you. So that is sad. Amen? That is uh, tragic actually. So it is imminent. Either you die and God will judge you or the expectation will not be met because uh, you're not ready or what's the other one? The Lord will come back. Okay? That's actually the theme here, the end times. One day the Lord will come back. He promised that. And He have an expectation from us. Okay? Because uh, He taught us, tinuruan niya tayo, uh, nag-uto siya, he gave us commandment and commission. We should be able to do that. Especially in winning souls. The more you win souls, of course, the better. For example, we have 8 billion people and uh, only 1 million will go to heaven. Is that tragic or what? Of course, it's tragic. As much as possible, we want everybody to go to heaven. But that is uh, almost next to impossible. But still, we do our best. And th that's why we learn we study these things. <coughs> we'll not be able to do that. If we are not ready, if we are not practicing, if we are uh, lagging behind, either in action or in thoughts, in learning, in our love for these people, if we are lagging behind, if we are weak, then we will not be able to do that. Okay, so you understand the uh, overall theme? So uh, uh, the Lord wants us to be at our best. And uh, the sad thing here is, some other people, they are best in some other things. Okay? So this uh, month, the Baptist will, uh, in the Philippines, will have Baptist Day. So we always mock that because we don't uh, believe that is the way. Amen? Amen? The Baptist people are actually good. Our heritage, we are thankful to the Lord. But we don't have to use politics to do that. Okay? We don't need that. People will just learn it. Actually, in my own life, I'm thankful that the Lord, we have an American visitor this afternoon. You, do, you know what the Americans did? Do you know why the Lord blessed them so much? If you don't, you need to also study their story. They're not blessed because they're just blessed, because Americans are the best. No. The knowledge is revealed, it's given to whomever God wants it to be revealed. That is always reiterated in Moses. If you remember the words of the Lord, say, I will, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So it doesn't matter where, you, where part of the world you are. So again, we know of that, especially in our times today. These things are reported. Uh, worldwide. So we, we cannot say that all Americans are good. No. All Americans are wise. Again, no. Thank the Lord for that. Yes, many of them are good and intelligent actually because I believe the Lord blessed them. It is the Lord's doing. Amen? You see the difference? If any time, for example, that's why they are praying also for us. I've, I've heard uh, multiple times in conferences the American missionaries are thankful for the Philippines because the Filipinos have responded positively, Amen. especially the Baptist people. So before, I don't know that. But I, when I discover that, I'm thankful to the Lord. Amen. So Filipinos have a great opportunity. Again, not because we are Filipinos. No, we're not uh, bola. We're not uh, placing ourselves here. It is true. If, there's always an if. If we follow the Lord. Amen? Amen. If we... Uh, what they call in the game, they, ano yung binitawan yung bola? If we lose the ball, if we do, do what we should be doing, then our grandchildren, they will be not be blessed. If we do not do what should we should do. Amen? So you're following. Okay, the Americans actually did that. 
And even uh, at this time, you know, Europe is, uh, if you know history, especially spiritual history, they have binitaw na lang bola. They have uh, not done. And so, uh, worldly, they're rich, but they start to notice that they are failing actually after World War II. They don't do, they don't know what is happening, why are they declining. People are, before the inventors, God give it to people. You know, inventors, it is not existing today, but then the knowledge, it is revealed to people. Certain people. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean they are Christians, but still, if it's given to the people, for example, in the Philippines, we have uh, five, only five people who will invent. Okay? God will reveal them to, to them that they will invent something that's very useful and productive. For example, the gasoline or the water engine. <laughs> it is always uh, mentioned, uh, proposed, uh, either that is true or not, or half truth or what. If we produce an engine like that, we only need uh, water to <laughs> produce energy and work. It will be very uh, productive and uh, it, God will bless us. Imagine that. Okay? And that, not only us, but the whole world. So, what I'm saying here, the blessings uh, comes from God. And the more that we uh, are faithful to God as a people, especially the Christians, because we have uh, the ultimate word of God here. Okay? People, some, some people are professionals and rich or whatever. But if they don't know the Bible, they will not know what hit them. For example, uh, poverty came, if you know the depression or something like that, they don't know what hit them. Why are we having this? But if the Lord is displeased with the nation, they will go down. That's the truth. So that's why, again, back to our team, uh, demand that we should be the best version of, what, of ourselves. We must strive to be the best version of ourselves. So, l- later again, last week, number one, there is soberness. We should be sober. Let, let us be sober. We, we should be ready always. We're not uh, drunk, okay, spiritually or physically and both. We should not be uh, just party-party. Okay, the, this mo- uh, just uh, recently, last week, everybody celebrated New Year, Christmas, First day of the year, it should be the best day, right? Whatever you do, whatever you want to do this year, you will do it January 1st, supposedly. But most are drunk, most are in their bed because they are puyat. Ano yung puyat? They have not slept, lack of sleep, because they have reveled un- unwittingly and unnecessarily. Unfortunately, even Christians, because it, it became a tradition in the world, not only in the Philippines. So what they do, they uh, make gastos, okay? They, <laughs> I mean gastos. No, eh? they spend a lot for nothing. Literally nothing. What are fireworks? Those are traditions that supposedly will fear the devil. We we'll, we'll chase the devil. Ah, we make papotong so that the devil will... What? That's superstition. That doesn't make sense. We don't need to do that as Christians. Amen? There's not in the Bible. But unfortunately, many people do that. Okay? So it's sad. Anyway, we should be sober. Not like that. They're not, they don't know what they're doing with their lives. And even Christians, they're not, they're not aware. Even pastor sometimes. Why are you a pastor? Why are you a church? To do what? And when you ask them, eh, we'll share the, okay, are you sharing the word of God? How? In the songs? In the, no. If these people will be saved, they should be saved. You share them one-on-one. The gospel. Amen? Amen? So that's what we do. So we should be sober. There should be no time that we are like drunk. We don't know what to do. Okay, so that's number one last week. Then number two, afternoon, Sunday, it's about watching and watchfulness. If you remember? So, they are actually related. If you're sober, you're watching. Watching is not watching just TV. You are uh, preparing yourself. Always prepared. 
It doesn't matter, especially in the military, uh, if you are in the near the vicinity of the war, in the front lines, they call it, you should always be ready. You don't know what, how and what time the enemy will attack and from what place and what area and what front. So they are always watching. So even though some people need to rest and uh, sleep, there still are watchers. Amen? So we should be watching as Christians. Amen? Amen. That's how the enemy can conquer us if we're not watching, if not even physically but spiritually. I always tell you that we always learn the Bible, study and study. Why? Because uh, the lies will encroach upon us. You know that, especially in the Philippines. Again, they will have abomination this week. Amen? Do you know, do you know what they do? Translation, whatever, the idols. They make parada. What is parada? Feast. And then... Ano yung parada? Ha? Parade. They parade idols. And God hate idols. God hate idolatry. And yet, they do the opposite. Especially long hair, Jesus. Jesus is not long hair. I always tell them that. Because people need to hear that. Because that's, those lies have been told for centuries. Some Italian painter paint the Jesus that looks like him. A hippie, long-haired man. That's not the Bible way. That's not the biblical Jesus. Jesus is short-haired. Amen? Amen? How do you know? Because the Bible tells us so. Because it's a shame. It is a shame. If a man have long hair, why would Jesus be long hair? That's for women. Okay? Some sodomite. So the Lord Jesus definitely have short hair. But they parade this abomination of an idol. What happened? How does that happen? Kind of uh, opposite thinking. Because... What, uh, little by little, little by little, they will corrupt the Word of God. If people, if Catholics just read the Bible, they will not participate in that idolatry. But they don't. They don't read the Bible. They trust their priest, which again, not biblical. And so they are deceived. So again, that's the second point. We should be uh, watching. Always be watching for ourselves, our children, our church, and also for the others. By the time that you've matured enough, you will not be not only help yourself and your family, will also help others. Amen. That's the goal. So we are, we have no limitation in uh, maturity. You just get matured, wiser and wiser. Amen. Amen. More matured. And then if you can already help yourself and your family, immediate family, then you can help others also. So okay, that's what we're studying here again. So the demand to be at your best, to perform the word of the Lord and the will of the Lord. So again, number one, it is imminent, sober, and then watchful. And this time, today, what, what's left? Okay, if you're already watchful, you're always studying, you're doing your best. How much, I mean, how, how else do we be at our best? That's the question. So again, I've told you this uh, last week. The last thing is we should be prayerful. Do you know that? That's very basic. Very basic to be prayerful. If you're not praying... Early in the morning, what will you do for the rest of the day? Again, from who will you get direction if you do not pray? Right? So that our pinaka text natin dito is verse number 11. This is a song. Okay? It's a psalm. It, uh, they rejoice because, again, the story here is uh, the, the uh, what's this? The Ark of the Lord was captured. Okay, but then it is returned to them, but they, it is not yet in Jerusalem because it is not in Jerusalem. For There, there are times that uh, from the Egypt, the Lord has not yet chosen the place. But this time, the Lord chose the place, Jerusalem, very strategic place, and the Lord blessed the king 
and the capital is there, but why is the ark not there? Because uh, in a way, they are afraid. In a way, uh, they are, were contented to have that in Shiloh. But at the time that they brought it back to Jerusalem, or brought it to Jerusalem, they are rejoicing. So that, that's the first time, as we see here, this psalm, the very good psalm. Did you notice? Very uh, familiar verses, right? You have a song here. It's actually Psalms 105. Okay? But uh, our main text, sabi dito, Seek the Lord in His strength. Okay? When you pray, what do you do? You just uh, ask for blessing. That's secondarily actually. That's one. When you pray, when you pray, basically when you pray, you seek, you ask. Right? But one is to seek. Ibig sabihin, you want to, because for example, this person can... I know that this is the person who can give me something that I need. I will seek him. I mean, I will please him. I will ask him. I will know. I will try to know what he wants also. So that he will give me that thing that I need. That's the reason why. And we know that the Lord of everything is powerful, wise. He is very rich. He's everything. Amen. Basically, not everything, but he have everything that we need. So whatever that is, strength, right? we all have strength. So our missionary our visitors later, still strong, but still they are, they are saying that uh, they uh, sleep a lot already because they're 60 plus. Okay? So the same to me. If you remember, I always take a nap right at uh, 12 after preaching because it's exhausting. So we seek the Lord for strength. I mean, we pray. And with, if we don't pray, we are losers actually. So again, uh, introduction just a while ago, why do some churches are not doing the best that they can do? Actually, like the calls, of course, that's uh, out of the picture. Even Baptists are not doing the best that they can do. What happened? The false doctrine crept in and somehow infected us. So we, we, should, we, need, to be, we need to be sober and watchful, and then pray. Okay? So again, what's the title of this morning? Demand to be our best, the series there. But uh, today, a call to prayer. A call to prayer. Let us pray! Please! We should not be uh, uh, lazy or we need somebody else to please pray. Okay? Do you want to pray? Please pray. Pray for me. Sometimes we can ask for it. Amen? But it should be automatic to us. Because we know that we need the Lord and the, and the force. Therefore, we should pray. So, a call to prayer. So, this uh, introduction, our main uh, verse for this morning is this one. Seek the Lord in His strength. Seek His face. Continually, not only once a day, once a month. Pastor, I already prayed January 1, so I'm covered for the whole year. No. Continually. For example, I pray for uh, Ashley to be saved, and she was saved today. What's the next? I will also pray for her to continue, amen, to be matured, then continue serving the Lord. And uh, you know, service is not uh, easy. It's uh, from step one, two, three, to one thousand, whatever. Man, step by step, it's not easy. It's, uh, some other people, it's not easy for them because their condition is not, let's say, uh, conducive. Their parents is, uh, they don't know what they're doing. But we pray for each other that we may seek His face continually. Amen? Amen. Continually and continue to pray and to seek Him. So our next uh, very famous verse, actually, again, this is basics, but we need this. I think the last uh, time I uh, preached about prayer is uh, about two years ago. Le always, actually, we should do this every day or at least once every two years. Very basic and yet very important. What is said to us in Matthew 7, we also, ano to, di ba? We memorize this, what? Right? Yes. 
Okay, let us uh, read this possibly. Ako muna, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. For what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Sabay-sabay, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask Him? So that is a call to prayer, amen? The Lord Himself he wants us to pray and even gives us a very good reason why should we pray? Because He knows it is declaring the Lord. Our Father in heaven, He will give you these things. Especially what you need, what is good. He also wants that for you, for us. Amen. So why not pray? Amen. Very, very familiar and yet very good. The Lord is telling us to pray because He's comparing uh, Himself, the Lord, the Father, to a biological Father. Okay, Because our Father... Even uh, in this earth, loves us. Amen? Amen? Not perfect, but still He loves us. You know that. But especially our Father in heaven. So you ask. Another one in Matthew 26. Again, these are very basic, but we need this. To hear this and to be admonished that we should always pray. What do we have there? Uh, just uh, please uh, read. There you go. Okay, number one, we should seek the Lord. We need Him. We, we, uh, what we need, He can give. Amen? So we should seek the Lord, His face, His favor continually. Number two, we have a great reason. We are asked to pray. Okay? We ask to ask. Okay? If you, do, if you know, if you understand that play of words. But number three, prayer is especially useful and needed in times of temptation. The, the, the scenario here, if you're familiar, this, this is towards the end of the book. Matthew, the Lord is, He will perform the greatest sacrifice. Amen? He will be wounded, flagged, and He will be uh, killed, basically, tortured. So He prayed for strength, but also, not only for him, but his disciples, because his disciples will go after him. The time that the Lord uh, went to heaven, ascended into heaven, he will need his disciples to do what, is, what needs to be done. Again, so winning in the church, exhorting one another. So he taught them what they should do. So in times of temptation, what we should we do? Admittedly, there are times of temptation. Amen? We are weak. That's the thing. That's the reality. We're not always strong. So what we do, the Lord teaches us that yes, when that time comes, that we are weak, and we know that we're weak, we need to watch and we pray to the Lord. Not only when we need something, we need also that. We need to ask for things from the Lord because uh, He's good and He has what we need. But we should also pray when there are temptations. Okay, legitimate temptations, there's our reality. So in this uh, particular scenario, the disciples are, sino antok na? Right, again, our missionaries, our visitors, they traveled for 15 hours. I said, uh, so at least you have rested for 15 hours. But no, <laughs> because it is daytime to them and uh, the airplane sometimes is shaky. If you're not used to that, and they said uh, they cannot recline because they are not in first class. It's very, uh, no, so they just, <laughs> you can rest but not sleep actually. So they are very sleepy at the moment that we uh, fellowship, but still, they try to fellowship with us. But especially there are uh, temptations, especially the new ones, you know already that. That's where we always pray, uh, we always uh, pray that you will. Guide yourselves, and the Lord will guide us, protect us, 
but specially there are times of uh, fight when we fight the sin the temptation is there for young people a lot of temptation right laziness love life we know that last temptations for the adults the same but uh, for the adults we are looking at pers- these things at a different angle already but still there are a lot of temptations so what do we do what should we do accept that it is our weakness we are weak then we pray we ask the lord for strength protection and help guidance we know we need all that Every time, amen? amen. Okay, so I'm already tired. So I'm playing also, amen? amen? Let's go to Luke. These are very good verses when it comes to prayer. Very basic, but and yet very powerful. So this time, this is a parable, medyo mahaba, it's the long. I will just uh, I will just summarize. Thank you. But the thing there is I'll be done. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. The goal is that men ought always to pray and not faint. So again, they, he, the Lord teach us, commanded us to pray because we need this. He wants this from us. We just need to pray to Him and ask Him. And the, um, the opposite of that is to faint. Amen? If you faint, ah, I'll just uh, rest. I'll just uh, do nothing because I'm weak. That's the tendency for other people. When they become weak, ah, I'll just rest. Ah, there's a challenge. You, you just do it to yourself. Very often for... Uh, Parents, they do that if they are tired. They're tired of their people or their children. Okay, actually, the missionaries also, the visitors, they have the uh, same experience. The one, our friends actually, they're long-time friends and actually they have the same company. And they're telling us they have four children, the leader, Al Miller, the children. And the other one have already also have children who is Pasaway. They call it wayward. <laughs> but anyway, they don't. They did not faint. They prayed for the child, and then it recovered. They have recovered, and now they, the Lord is using the child, the children. Amen. But the other passed away early because I don't know what that did. They did, but that's the way, you know. That's the scenario, or that is the curse, and that is the the end of those that are wicked. Okay, I I did not uh, know the details, but the other one faded away, he died early in his life. So, but anyway, the other one at least he's been using by the Lord. He's the Lord is using him after that wayward scenario in his life. Amen. So we parents, we should not give up on our children. That's what I'm saying. Amen. The Lord is not giving up, us up, giving up on us. Do you know that? Amen. Sometimes we are uh, very hard-headed. I myself, I can testify to that. I always tell you that. But not now because it's hard in English. Anyway, we should always pray, amen, amen. and not faint. If your child is doing wrong at the moment, you realize that they have years about ahead of themselves. So pray for them. Amen? Amen. There's uh, other things that uh, it is long-term challenge to us. Our jobs, our stability, the church. Amen? We pray for that. I mean, we thank the Lord for the Americans. They are really praying for us. And now they are actively helping. They are seeking us out. Can you imagine? Amen. Thank the Lord for that. Amen? Amen? And they will see, I hope they will see this church, a legitimate church. Amen? We're doing what's best. Amen. What the Lord demands of us and uh, commanded of us. And napaganda naman. Wonderful uh, commandments and uh, work in this place. So we'll do that. But in case we are fainting, we should not 
forget to pray. Amen? So again, the story here is, it's actually a parable. The Lord just uh, had this story. There was a judge, you know, a judge, a ruler, in just a city, but the judge is not God-fearing. I mean, loko, loko no? Wicked. However, when a woman comes to him, he doesn't take care of her, he doesn't want to help, but the story goes on, the woman is persistent. You know, persistent, he prayed, he prayed, he entreated the judge. He was asking for something to avenge his uh, son, right? What is avenge? Because he was, uh, ano ba yun, uh, na, nagrabyado, it is not detail, dated here, but Somehow he is, she, the woman is asking the ruler to avenge her. Perhaps her husband was killed in a, not accident, but a premedita premeditated murder. Who will avenge the woman? Of course, you cannot do anything, right? To avenge yourself because there's a woman. But if that is a neighbor of hers, right? So the ruler should be the one who should avenge. Okay? Gagante para dun sa inape. So, but the ruler doesn't care. But, if the woman, if we, as children of God, we are persistent, again, God is not wicked, ha? He's just, this is uh, how you do it sometimes in litera literature. You take the opposites, right? And uh, you use that uh, kind of uh, technique in the literature. So, God is not wicked, but He's, uh, making himself in a way in place of a wicked person. Why? Because so that we can contrast him. If even the wicked person uh, avenge or uh, listen to the one who is asking her, how much more the Lord who is not wicked, who is very judge, just, definitely when, because especially the servant of God, there are a lot of people that will persecute us. So well, what should we do? If we uh, avenge ourselves, what will happen? For example, everybody here will persecute us or many people will persecute Then we fight back. If we fight back, we will not be doing the word of the Lord. It will be very hard if we fight back. So what we do and what the Lord is saying here, we just pray to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Lord, avenge me of these wicked people. And then we just do our job. Amen? That's why. So again, number one, we seek the Lord. Number two, those things that we need, we ask of Him. Matthew 7, Matthew 26. In times of temptation, we ask the Lord. Number 18, uh, number four, in times that we need protection or avenge, avenging, or protection, or uh, many times, especially if you're a uh, children of God, servant of God, you need protection and uh, basically you need to be avenged, okay? So that you will not be uh, aggravated or continually be uh, beaten down. So how do we do that? We pray again. We pray that the Lord will avenge us. Amen? So this is very actually very important point, especially to those uh, who are already serving the Lord. Because it's very easy to be discouraged when the persecution came. Amen? You know the parable of the soil, right? <clears throat> so, when are, we are persecuted, I will not go to church because somebody else is making fun of me, mocking me because I have palda, I have skirt, and they are just have short short. And you're, they calling you Lola, Lola Jana, Lola Juliana. That's a very basic persecution. It's not even, right? But sometimes we are discouraged. So pray to the Lord. Amen? Amen. You pray that those, and actually very, uh, sel uh, very seldom, very, ano yung madalas, very frequently, what happens to those people? Who are wearing short short, maangas, judgmental. Di ba? Most of the time, the Lord will judge them very early. They their lives will be miserable in the early stage. Most of those people will die early, especially the Sodomites, right? So just not 
think about what they say because they are garbage. They don't know the Lord, this work. So let, just pray to the Lord that the Lord will avenge you. Amen? Amen. I have so much time. Anyway, let's move on. What else? Who is sad here tonight? Uh, to, today? Who is sad? I will take a look at your face in a moment. Who is sad? You change your face. Sometimes we are sad, we are frowning because we have problems. Amen? Amen. What do we do? How we solve the problem? That's good, but sometimes it takes time. And sometimes when you're always sad, your face is like a sambakol. Sambakol, ano yun? But your countenance, your face is not kaya-aya. Pleasant, not pleasing personality. Except that your trouble will be gone, it's double up. Amen? So, for example, you are, you are sad because you have no friends. And you are always sad. You, will, you want friends, but other people don't like you because you're always sad. So it goes on and on, right? In circles. Like the meme, that, the, that does the meme say? How can I face... How can you face your problem if the problem is your face? <laughs> Understand? But that is carnal and uh, anyway, and prideful for some others because they have a idea of a beautiful face and matangos, mapute. It's not always true. Amen? You just praise the, you, you uh, seek the Lord, you do the will of God, be happy with it. Amen? Amen. Whatever is given to you, you'll be happy and contented. And then your face will shine. Amen? You will uh, have friends for that example. And when you have your friends, you will be happy. Amen? Amen. So the same is uh, whatever. This time, let's apply to any other problem. Kaya we are told here, sabi dito, Hitherto, please uh, read, let it go. So what is the problem, whatever the problem, but the solution is, believe it or not, it's prayer. You ask the Lord. And in the process of asking the Lord, actually, you learn a lot. You learn about the basic principle of life. Do you know that? Sometimes I teach my children, what do you need? You just tell it to me. Huh? You will not give it. Well, sometimes I will, sometimes I will not. But... But the, that time that you ask your father, for example, what you need, he will evaluate, you will evaluate, right? Ah, he will not give me ice cream for breakfast, dinner, and everything else. Why? Well, at least you learn. That's not profitable for you. Amen? Amen? Your parents know what you need. And so, that, uh, that will he give it to you. So that's the process of prayer. You learn a lot. You ask the Lord, and if it, if it doesn't give you, uh, you learn something at least. Amen? Amen? So you should always ask in my name. If you don't know the Lord, you don't ask in His name, so eventually you don't get what you need. So again, as we will share to Ashley later, are you saved? Are you sure you get going to heaven when you die? Honestly. Okay, no, no. So that's why. That's number one, Ashley. We will share it to you. Because if you are a children of God already, a child of God already, then you have uh, gone to base one. Okay? That's very important. So ask in His name. Know the Lord and then ask in His name. So there's uh, other implication to that. Meaning even other children. For example, Ayesha is a child of God, but he's, he's, she is asking for something. Not in the name of the Lord, because he, she knows that the Lord doesn't want that for her. Right? For example. So if, he, if she asks something not in the Lord's name, even if she is a child of God, then hopefully the Lord will not give it. 
I mean, because this is not, it's not for her. So let us not take the opposite. For example, Yesha is asking the Lord. She is a child of God, and then he is asking, in the name of the Lord, the difference is of a lot, right? If he's now asking that in the name of the Lord, then everything is good. I mean, uh, she learns, and then what we are told here, and ye shall receive. Amen? Promise granted. Amen? Amen. Ayaw nyo na eh. Pagod na ba kayo mag-amen? Amen. Ako dapat mapagod. Mayira. He's asking us, he's telling us, you ask in my name, I will do it. You will receive it. If you are a child of God, then pray. Amen. And then when that happens, uh, the the scenario that we want, okay, your joy may be full. When He gives you what you want, He wants and you want also, you will be happy, full of joy. That's what we want. Again, joy is not the ultimate goal, but it's uh, favorable. Amen? Pleasure also. The Lord wants that. We also want that. But you do it in His terms. You do it in His will, in His name, and you will receive. Amen? Amen. So very positive here, right? Very basic and yet very good. So let us move on. Uh, one, two, three. Until um, three. So again, about prayer. What else? We are commanded to pray. Not only for ourselves. Please read. Ready, go. Ayan. So, some other things are repeated. Ready? Pray, always pray as the Spirit. Okay, again, use the Spirit. Communicate to the Spirit of God, not to some stars. Okay, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, no you pray to God. You know, try to know what He wants to Himself and to, your, to you. And then pray in the Spirit. Like other time last week, watching there unto with all perseverance. If you mean, alam mo, you uh, you try to know how it is done. And then, when you already know what needs to be done, you do it with perseverance. You just do it. For example, you want to be uh, at least comfortable in life. That's not bad, right? You want a house that uh, when it earthquakes or rains, it falls down. You don't want that, of course. So you pray for uh, provision. But you also work. Amen? This doesn't happen in a day. Lord, give me this uh, type of uh, car. We ha- we want. I don't want APP. I want high A's, Lord. Tomorrow, I want it. <laughs> no, you. You pray and then you do what needs to be done. You persevere. You work. Okay, that's what I want to say. But again, after we also we already know that we don't just. Pray for ourselves. Amen? You know how God answers prayers also? Actually, this, the, the, uh, the pastor have uh, this long story. I would just uh, say it also because it is a very good story. <laughs> anyway, there are two people. Okay? Listen to me. Yesha and Juliana. For example, they are left in an island. The, the plane that they... Road on, crash landing. They, they survive, only they survive. Okay? Thank the Lord, right? But they are stuck in an island. So, so they are both Christians, but Juliana is carnal and Yesha, for example, is godly. For example, okay? So they, uh, they're stuck there. They, oh, what will happen to us? We'll die. But the other one is praying. They are actually both praying. Okay, this is the story of the pastor, but this is exciting. They're both praying, but Juliana is just praying for herself. Yesha is praying for Juliana. And so, the Lord provides for Juliana. So, Juliana is prospering and uh, getting what she needs. And there is, she's telling the other one, Ah, you're not praying. Eh. <laughs> because she doesn't know, right? 
So sometimes it's like that. But the Lord knows who is being prayers that are being answered. Amen? So that the point is just pray for yourself also but for other people. Amen? That's a, that's a commandment here. We can see. Persevere and supplication for all saints, not for every person. Amen? This should be clear also. Because even the Sodomite, we pray for us. No! Not for every people. Because some people are already reprobates. We are exempted to the prayer. The first priority is, of course, for the Lord's will to be done on earth. But also for the people, we take precedence, the saints. These are the saved ones, the children of God. Always remember that. Because we don't pray for uh, Duterte, we don't pray for uh, Ibuloy. We don't pray for that peop- those people. Amen? Amen? So the point here is we pray for others also. Amen? Amen. So uh, in that way actually your prayers will uh, you will please God in that way. Amen? And th- so there is better chance that God will answer your prayer. Amen? In a better way even. So first, last, second to the last. Are you hungry? <laughs> Multiply that by 10 to me. I'm hungry and tired. Anyway, this is very simple. You can quote this in memory. But please, read. Ready, go. Not only we should pray, we should not cease. When you cease, you stop. But what is meant here is this is not the senseless prayer. This is not what we think. When you say pray without ceasing, like the other item, example last time, don't cease praying for your children. Amen? If they are hard-headed now, next year, hard-headed, wayward, doesn't want to follow you, you still pray. That's what is meant there. You don't cease. You don't stop praying. Amen? Amen. We pray for what we need. We pray that souls will be saved. We do the soul winning, but we still pray. Amen? Amen. Sometimes it is a hard, even especially for our loved ones. We want that to be, our loved ones to be saved, right? First and foremost. But sometimes they will reject us, and that is biblical. But still, we pray for them without ceasing. Don't stop praying for those people, for those things that we uh, want. And especially, it is the will of God also. Amen? Amen. Amen ba? Amen. Young people, what are you praying about? Pamela. Tatay to be saved, right? And then other things. School and what else? Future. What future? Especially those are lifetime partner. Mommy and is saying. That is true, amen. I always tell that to you. Because that will be a very important part of your life. So you pray for your lifetime partner, not Joa. Huh? Lifetime partner. Say that together with me. Lifetime. Young people, a lifetime. You will be with that person, whether you like it or not, for the rest of your life. And that's good for you, amen, and for us also as a church. Because there are other things that you will learn, right? With your wife, as you serve the Lord together, it will be better off for you. So pray without ceasing. Pray for, uh, okay, young people, pray for a lifetime partner. Just pray, don't uh, demand the Lord that it should be good looking like uh, who is the latest Matini Idol now, I don't know. Okay, but they are, I think they're pangit. You just pray like Brother James. Right, I'm praying that right, my lifetime partner is responsible, amen? Good looking, just pass, right? At least you will pass your standards. <laughs> but it will provide for the men, okay? We love you for the rest of your life even though you get 
Pat or what? <laughs> or the mommy and is telling me he have, she have already white hair. We've been married for 18 years. Amen? Yay. Thank the Lord for that. So the joy to pray without ceasing last. But we'll already have, uh, also have an uh, extra verse from 1 Timothy. The same, okay? Ready, go. So this is Paul reminding Timothy that he would pray. Amen? And he teach also, because he is a pastor, he teach also other men to pray. Amen? So again, this is the theme for today and for, for the rest of our lives. Amen? You pray. He's telling, I will. I want. Now Paul wants. Therefore, that men pray everywhere. Anywhere. Okay, you don't need to do like the Muslims do, which is OA, amen? And then they will do whatever we can think they want to do. We pray, any, you're driving, you pray. You're cooking, you pray. Everywhere. Amen. Lifting up holy hands. The implication there is you should be holy. You should not be doing something else, wickedness, and then you pray. It's not compatible, amen? I will uh, rob you, I will get your cell phone, and then I will pray. It's conflicting, okay? So, when we pray, we do the, Lord, the will of the Lord, especially with our hands. We work, amen? amen. We don't boodle other people. Without that, without doubting. When you pray, you don't doubt. You believe the Lord, amen? But especially before you believe, you know. You should know what is the will of the Lord. We just, I pray, Lord, I claim. And, uh, Gusto ba ni Lord John? You should know first. Amen? And then you, do, you will know how reason to doubt. Okay? Just, just, as a, just a bonus, but last. Or just in time. James. This is for our uh, finale. The Lord is also already giving us what we need. Thank the Lord. But sometimes, will, you will have, or some other people, you know, sickness, right? Sometimes you don't know where it is from. There's a lot of things. There are a lot of sickness diseases. When you ask doctors, even doctor scientists, they don't know. How do we get colds? It's a virus something. Why do I have a cold when it's not? Hey, you pass it to them. But... Sometimes he doesn't have. He doesn't know. A lot of disease. Recently, last year, I had some boils. And, a, and when you read articles, it is from this virus. And it is, kahawa? It's contagious. So you should uh, always clean. But sometimes you cannot clean. So my question is, when I have boils from here, why have that boils from here also? If that is just a virus and when I wipe out the blood and it will... He doesn't know. That's the truth. Amen? So, again, when we are afflicted or a disease, we should... You pray. Actually, this is a good one because sometimes you uh, feel it within your body that you need prayer. Amen. So sometimes I even pray that uh, some other... The prideful people... Lord, please give him a disease. Sometimes, okay, I'm not trying to have malice on the person, but sometimes, because when you see the person is very prideful, sometimes he thinks he does, he uh, can do anything, right? But when we have disease, Lord, I need you. The doctor is telling me, I have money, but the doctor is telling me, ah, I don't know your case. Because so we should pray. Amen? Amen? But there is a bonus here. Okay? There's a bonus here. In case everything is going well with you, what should we do? In honor of the Lord. Remember last time, Psalms 105, the first verse. 
what you should be doing. I have no problem, Lord. I will not pray. No. What is the verse telling us? Is any Mary? Who is Mary here? Mary Ann? No. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, Mary is happy. Ibig sabihin, parang wala kang problema ngayon. I will not. No. You will pray also. Let him sing psalms. So the psalms, the singing, it has a very good application, especially in the church in your life. Amen? Amen. Especially if you're a biblical Christian, you, again, we go back to our first verse, 1 Chronicles 16. This is a song. And yet, we're being told, seek the Lord in His strength. Amen? So Amen. Th- it's a circle. No? You praise the Lord, you have a problem. You seek the Lord, you pray. And then you give what you want. Praise the Lord. Then you sing to Him. That's the circle of life for us. Amen? Amen. Because actually, uh, <clears throat> due to the Lord's mercy and goodness, sometimes really, even myself, sometimes I have no problem. Sometimes, amen? The way I think hard, I have a lot of problems. But sometimes I don't feel the problem, thank the Lord. Amen? amen? So that's it. So again, this uh, year, the one we should be doing always is to be at our best. When we pray, we will be at our best. Amen? We ask the Lord, we do what we should, because if you ask Him, you, you should know what He wants, and then you will learn, and then you, God will grant the wish, the prayer, sorry, the term of the word is wish. Anyway, what you want, it will be grant, and then the circles go on in that blessed life. Amen? So continually seek Him, seek Him, even if you're rich already, you're provided what you need, okay, you just pray. Pray and pray, and then talagang pag wala na, you sing songs. Amen? You praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So this time, I'm tired, but I'm praying also. Amen? I'm praying for you. I pray that always in our services, you learn. Because it's tiring. It's okay if I'm tired. If you will learn, that's okay. That's an uh, investment well spent. Amen? Amen? So I hope you're learning for our guests. I hope Ashley will pursue the Lord's will in our life. Amen? Amen. Sa Tagalog sana, gawin niya yung dapat niyang gawin. Na gusto ng Diyos. Nag-umpisa pa lang siya. Let us help her. We love you in the Lord. Amen? Amen. All of you. But especially our guests because it's sometimes hard. Amen? You will need to choose the Lord for yourself in order for you to be blessed also. Okay? So this time, let's pray. Lord, let's Salamat. Uh, thank you, Lord, very much for everything, my, I know, for uh, your word, for the blessings, uh, especially your word is uh, very rich in teaching us a lot of things that we need, especially this time. We need to pray so that we will be at our best. Uh, you demand that, you command us to be at our best. It's our best, uh, best uh, scenario for us. And so, not only that we should be sober and watchful, we should be prayerful. Lord, uh, please forgive us in the times that we are very uh, contented with what we have. We should not be like that. We should uh, realize that we need, at least for other people also, if we are provided already what we need, we also need to pray for the church, for the servant of God, for the work of God, for other saints. Why not? We pray Lord, that you would uh, grant us your mercy, your provisions, Lord, knowledge, especially wisdom. Uh, use this church for others to be saved as well. We say for Ashley, we pray for Ashley to be saved today. We say, uh, we pray also for those that uh, will be on the Kessens North Circle, that will be saved, those that will be uh, reached by us. Lord, we pray for them. We pray for uh, many things, Lord. We pray for our food today. You blessed it, but we also pray for the merienda, the lunch, but also for Roger Hand, Lord, Brother Roger, that he will be a blessing to us this afternoon, will be a blessing to him. The soul winning event later this afternoon, it will be fruitful. And then the preaching, uh, again, the afternoon service also will be a blessing. We should have, uh, should have, we pray that we should have guests also that will be encouraged. 
with your word and with the church and their children. So all these things we ask, Lord. Again, thank you very much for everything. We ask for more because you're good and you want good in us, for us. We also ask for this, Lord, continually. Uh, share us with your spirit and your word. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.